Good afternoon, Eagle Creek. Uh, we want to do a second uh, video as a follow-up to the, uh, the video we did recently regarding the greens and the problems with the greens and the drainage system. So I want to take you a little bit further uh, in depth into uh, the actual problem and we're going to use number two green as an example. So here we have number two green and now you're seeing the herringbone design of the USGA greens construction and the direction that the water should move out from under the green itself. Here's a cross section showing that same herringbone drain. An example of what happens when it rains. The water should flow from the arms into the main and out from under the green. Number two, we have two different pinches or collapses in that main. And therefore we're getting pooling, puddling, and the system is actually backing up. Here you see a, a, an actual video of one of the collapses in number two. Now one tool that we use to measure moisture in a green or technology that we use is called the POGO sensor. Using our POGO sensor, we can take moisture reading every few feet throughout the entire green. It then gives us an illustration based on the percent moisture. The green color is in the good frame. Dark blue is overly wet. The illustration was taken two days after a rainfall event last Friday. You can see the two blue circles towards the center of the green itself. That is actually where we have two piping collapses. Then you can see dark shaded blue to the right and left of each one of those circles where the green is actually holding water. Water is backing up. As water backs up, you see a great decrease in rooting, increase in turf disease, algae, soft playing conditions, big ball marks like you've seen. Okay, so now you understand in uh, more detail exactly what's going on with the greens on the golf course here. Uh, the greens committee is diligently working with golf course architect Gordy Lewis. We have a rough draft of plans from number one to number 11 green at this moment. We're hoping to have uh, plans done one through 18 over the next couple of weeks, and then we'll move those plans into uh, uh, out to bid for actual contractors to get a, a finalized cost. So we'll keep you updated.